Now, to take out the trigger, you want to keep this black thing attached to the trigger. Don't bother separating them. It doesn't help you in any way. So we take this out. Now, I want you to see what's on this. See there? There's that nub at the end. All right. What that nub does is it slides in there. You see, like, between, you see that thing that looks like a big gear? Um, essentially, it is a gear. But that orange gear, that little nub, slides in between two of the teeth. When it comes back, what happens, and that's you pulling the trigger, by the way, the arm comes back, and what happens is that, that nub has caught behind there, and when it comes back, it uh, rotates the gear, and hence the cylinder turns. Now, I'm going to try to just give you a little demo of this. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright, so... Here we go. So here is you pulling the trigger. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, there. You saw that? Oh, it worked. Okay. Okay, there. You saw that, right? Let's call that works. Um, now, you're talking about the... You wonder, where's the air restrictor, right? Well, the air restrictor... There you go. Can you see that? Of course, you have the pull in the middle. But then if you look, there's like a little triangle, um, kind of looks like their uh, radioactivity sign, kind of, you see. Those are the three little prongs that are around the main um, long pole. Those are the air restrictor. And if you took it out, see the other video with the Maverick to actually, not the Maverick, no, see the video with the, um, where I modify that one with the disc, disc shot to give it more power. Yeah, and you can see what the air restrictor looks like when you take it out. Basically, it's three little prongs attached to a disc, which you get to do that ten times because you got to take each one of these out. And I suppose if you wanted to do that, you would go ahead and you see these screw wells. You would go and unscrew this, and then most likely this orange part comes away from this gray part, and then you could pull out the air restrictors and then put it back together. All right. But I'm not going to do that. Um, that's If you want, that's how you would do that. And then, okay. Now, you're saying, well, that's wonderful. So after I did all those things, and let's pretend we're doing it, I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. Now, there's one thing, and you're going to get to know this really well, okay? This is this part here. The reason I say you're going to get to know this really well is you see this little white guy here? He's like a little column, and then he has like a white a triangle head. And you see, well, okay, I'll take him out. Then I can show you. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, here we go. What this is essentially, it works with the trigger assembly, with the indexing stick. That's what I'm going to call it for right now. The indexing stick here. Now, first thing, notice how the index stick is not the same um, width. It's really fat up here, mid, medium here, and then narrow at the very end where it connects to the actual trigger. Here is this little white thing that had the spring on it, and I said it was going to be the cause of a lot of frustration. It happens when you try to put this back in. But before we get to that, let's just see how this would work. So, now I want you to see how this thing has that little open groove in the middle. And what happens is this goes through it like that. So, it slides, okay? Now, look, let's pretend we're looking at it from the top of the gun. When you pull the trigger back, you can see that this is um, locked. And it keeps this white thing down. Then, when the trigger goes forward... That means you're releasing the trigger. This slides. Now, notice when it gets here, this thing can now pop up. Make sure you don't lose any of these parts because, boy, um, this is the linchpin, kind of. It's not that it holds the whole thing together. It's what makes it basically shoot or not shoot. Uh, oh, I'll quickly show this part. I kind of left this part out. This right here, this piece is essentially the funnel that guides your um, extra dart into the handle, okay, and then you can see the dart goes in here. All right, so if you took this part out, and we'll start here because this is an easy part, it looks like this, go ahead and put it so it's pointing into the gun with this little raised part in the back, and you put it in there. Good, okay, that's the first part back in. Now it gets a lot harder from there. <laughs> um, the next thing you're going to want to do is, let's see, let's do the main spring. Okay, so here's, pretend this is your beefed up one. Okay, I should do this first. If you took this out, this thing here, the remember this is the cage that holds the, the syringe back, back. 
um, you can, it's not perfectly symmetrical. You can see that there's a little lip that needs to point back. That little lip there is right there on the bottom. Okay, so you're going to put this in this little hole. You can see there's a nice groove laid out for it. You put it in, and then you got to get this spring to fit into the little channel above it. So, okay, and that spring will also be beefed up, okay? And now you get your big main spring, which is also going to be beefed up, and you go ahead, I should put it in the, here's the um, air tube. So I put the spring in the back of the air tube, and then I put that whole thing in there. Okay, now this, you see this lip, make sure that the lip is in this front channel. Okay, now roll so that this uh, handle on the bottom of the tube is pointing down towards where your finger would go in the trigger. Next thing you would do is, um, okay, um, I should probably do, what should I go for next? Uh, okay, let's do this part here. Get your little, this little guy, and don't be like me and lose this spring. I lost this, and I spent about five minutes looking for the thing. It is so small, it's basically invisible <laughs> if you drop it on the ground. All right, so you put that spring, if you can even see it, you put that spring into the bottom of this little white guy here. All right, so what I did is I went ahead and put that thing in. Um, springs on the bottom, and then make sure that make sure that you have this notch. See the notch where the depression or the little mouth-looking thing? Have that facing you, and the top of the triangle. You can see there how that's like, kind of like a triangle, the top of the white thing. Make sure it's sloping back towards where your finger would be, okay? If you do that, that will be helpful. All right. Okay, so I got that there. Now, what's the next thing we should do? Um... Let's go ahead and put in the trigger. Should I do that? No. Let's uh, let's do this part. Okay, so I grabbed the whole main front of the gun, basically. Your barrel, your pump, and the cylinder. And we're going to put this back where it goes. Make sure you slide this little spring here. Forward, or backward, rather. And now I'm going to put this in. So here you go. So there, you can see how that now has been, it's been, it's holding on the top of the gun there. You got your screw coming through the middle, and that, you know, now you know that's aligned. And now we go to the back, where this is the part where it gets hard. Okay, make sure the claw, or the charging handle, is now um, encasing this, um, no, this long uh, protruding knob from the bottom of the air tube, okay? Because after all, this is what's going to be pushing the air tube back. So you need this touching this and kind of grabbing around it. That's that. That's one thing you have to do. Next thing, the whole time you're doing this, this little guy that I told you would be a pain, this little guy has to stay here pretty much undisturbed. And if you, if this thing isn't in the right position when we close it, it won't fire, okay? Next thing, we need to get the char the recoil, um, or, yeah, whatever, the spring here that's going to bring back the charging handle. So we're going to take this spring's little loop and attach it around this little knob that sticks out of the, it's like a little arm. You're going to attach it around there. So you can see now, the spring goes from the body of the gun, connects to the back of the charging handle, okay? And that will happen. Once you put spring tension on it, this thing wants to slide forward. If that happens, go ahead and just make realign everything up. Okay. There. Now, we're almost there, but this is the... gets even trickier here. Or more frustrating, however you want to consider it.